Hey, this is Quentin Flores with CBCTMadeEasy.com and in this Galaxis tutorial, we're going to review how to plan a Serif Guide 2 Surgical Guide. So the last Surgical Guide that you can create in your Galaxis software is called Serif Guide 2. Serif Guide 2 can be mailed in office in about 30 to 40 minutes and it is for single site implants only. These are the current implant systems that are supported by Serif Guide 2. You will need specific drill keys for Serif Guide 2, and of course it will depend on the implant system that you're using. Here are the drill keys available from Densply Serona for Serif Guide 2, and they can be purchased through one of our authorized distributors in the United States. So back in our software, you'll see that we have our implant placed with our SSI file pulled in. So we have our crown, everything's looking good, and we have picked a implant line that is supported by Serif Guide 2. So if we go down to Surgery, click on Surgical Guide, you'll notice that we still don't have the option for Serif Guide 2. That's because for Serif Guide 2, we need to add sleeve information. So to do that, we're going to right click on the implant and hit edit sleeve. So as you can see currently no sleeve system has been chosen so we're going to change that. So from here let's click the drop down menu and change that from no sleeve system to Serona, Serif Guide Drill Keys and Serif Guide 2 specifically and click OK. So now for the sleeve it's going to ask us for two vital pieces of information. The first is going to be the diameter of sleeve we want to use. So notice on the implant that we've chosen the diameter of that implant is 4.8 millimeters. So for the smaller sleeve the interior diameter is 4.5 millimeters so we cannot use that. So the Next smallest one that we can use is the medium sized sleeve, which as you can see has an interior diameter of 5.3 millimeters, therefore our implant will fit into this sleeve. So that's the one we want to choose. Now for sleeve position, we need to set the D2 value. So D2 equals your drill length minus one millimeter for the key. If you do not know your drill lengths, please contact your implant company and they will be able to help you with that. So let's say that our drill length is 22 millimeters. Because D2 is drill length minus one millimeter for your key, that means our D2 value is going to be 21. Once again, D2 equals drill length minus one millimeter. The D1 value will be automatically set based off of our D2. So from here, I have the proper diameter selected for our sleeve and sleeve position D2, so I can press OK. Now you see our sleeve has been moved accordingly based on our plan. So from here, I can now go to our surgery tab in the bottom right hand corner, click surgical guide, and as you can see, a new option has appeared, and that's export for third party processing, which will go back into our Seric acquisition unit to mill a Seric guide 2. So I can click here. You'll notice all the information that we've already planned appears. I can pick a folder that is on my server so it can be easily accessed by my CEREC unit and click export. Plan was successfully exported. Now you'll be able to access that from your CEREC acquisition unit.
and get ready for milling.